Yeah, man. Shout out to Gary. Thank you for having us, bro. Gang. Part three. Gang. Of the Icon Collector series. Gang. Land. You Gang. dig? Um, we just, all right, I'm not even going to do no intro. This is brought to you by Private Label. They got the best handy bags, bro. You want to pack your shit on the plane without fucking your shit up? Hit them boys up at Private Label. I got the orange boy with the orange guts, you feel me? Black on <laughs> orange. The guts. But, um... I'm gonna kind of go like from the top. Like this is, I'm gonna do seven most favorite sneakers to wear. Sentimental shoes, best stories. Got some good stories, all right? So, the Aqua Eight. <laughs> yes, sir. And this ain't, as you can see, no this sparkles. isn't no glitters. Glittery. This isn't oh, gray God. up here. No gray up here. No glitter. You see the paint cracking. This is a 08 Aqua. 08 or 09? 08. 07. 07. 07. 07. 07 Aqua. Card. No box. Same. Oh, it didn't make it. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't make, make it. it. It didn't make it. Like, nah, bro. The Aqua is what, like, really got me into this shit, bro. I remember the first time I seen the Aqua 8 um, was at the barber shop. And like the barbershop for me was like super different because I spent a lot of time at the barbershop kind of just cooling it. And barbers like really was what were putting me on the like fly shit. Cause like I didn't have an older brother, I was the oldest. And then my cousins, like they were cool, but they were a little distant. But every time I saw them niggas, they was fresh as fuck. Like they was dumb clean, but I'm like, yo, put me on. Like my mom buying me K-Swiss and shit. <laughs> hey, they came back. <laughs> Hey, they came back, but no, they didn't come back, bro. They chillin', they chillin'. No, they did not come back, bro. They did not come back. But like, no love for case list. I'm just a fan of like shit that don't really go together or anything that looks kind of different. Like, I don't you want colors. Yeah, I like colors, like colors that you wouldn't think go together. This is literally turquoise and purple, like right. on a NBA, like, well, not NBA, but just basketball <laughs> sneaker. Like, if I were to come with you to you with that like you'd be like i don't know bro purple and turquoise like what but even though the hornets are that color still i mean it's just shit that don't go you got the turf like carpet on there you see the fuzziness that's just aids baby with the red swoosh it don't like shit don't go together but the first time i saw these oh jump man jump man jump man jump man the first time i saw these bro my barber was dripping i'm talking about like he had these on with the motherfucking Colorado Rockies uh, fitted. So he had that purple and uh, black uh, joint. And this was when like cardigans was killing, bro. Uh, black uh, cardigan, purple polo t shirt. I'm talking about nigga was coming to kill. Nigga was coming to kill. With the 501 jeans? Bro, with the fucking black 501 jeans, bro. Killing. And like. That yeah. just paid it for me. All bars are five Bro, I knew it. <laughs> that nigga was dripping though. At that time, like it was super fly. Like I fell in love with shoes. Like just the way like the swagger people had when they had sneakers. It was just it was dope. Aqua Eight kind of started that for me. Shout out to my bro Dave with the plug on this. Five. Yeah, I might not know what these are. This is a silver box. I still got the box, but you know I had to pay a bill today. So I left the box. My box is towed up, though. <laughs> we had to pay a bill, so I slipped it in the bag. It's just easy carry on, you know? But as you see, I beat these shits. Red Steel 10s. Classic. Very classic. I love classic Jordans, even though, like, the Chicago is the line. Um, mm -hmm. I love just the simple colorways, like, dope checkerboard inline. Like, these were just fun to wear. I wore this with everything. I played ball in these. I got fly in these. Like, wear your shoes, man. And this still separated, even though I wore them. But um, I actually got these when I first met Ant. So, like, every time I see these, I think about the bro. Because Ant was selling his collection. And it was my 20th birthday. And he was selling them, I think, for like 140 and he let them go to me for 80 bro. That's Damn. love. 
Oh. I got these shits for 80 and he's like, bro, it's your birthday, bro? Fuck, dude. He's like, give me whatever you got on you right now. Gave me 80 bucks, bro. 80 bucks for these shits. And I, like, I wore these up until, like, two years ago. And then it just, the separating got real bad. It started raining, but red still tense. Okay, Love so, me. all right, so let's put that into context. What? Okay. You're 24 now. Yeah. You got those when you were 20. Right. They died two years ago. So you really only got a year and some change. Of, and I was of whooping wares. these shits because they <laughs> didn't look shits. like this when I got them. <laughs> that's how that that's how whoop them shits I is. I these shits, bro. He had to go so in con- <laughs> You had to. I, I had to really shits. put that in context. I was gonna say like it might be nine. It might have been nineteen because I think it was longer than that. I was well, gonna. When we was in uh, at Palm State. Was at State, so I might have been nineteen. Yeah. 19. I was gonna say those got a lip. Nigga. Bro. That might have been younger than that then. Cause you, you, were, you were younger than me when we was at, you, yeah. cause you were 18 when I was 19. My math might be, I've had these for a minute though. I okay. wore, I beat these shit, I beat them to shit bro, they're just. What year like, they came out? Huh? 2005. 2005. Silver box. Uh, yeah bro. Yeah. I yeah. fucking love these. You might always put those in the vault. <laughs> yeah, these I'm just always gonna have these, bro. Those re-release, would you buy them again? Depending on if how they come with it. Like if it's a hard ass ten, then no. Like hard as in like leather. Yeah. Because when when the leather is hard on tens, bro, it just doesn't yeah. crease right. Like look at how mine creased, bro. I don't know if like there's any way to see that. Like, but it didn't bubble up yeah. all crazy, like bulky. Like look how small that is. The stresses on the shoe there. Like, and look at how that leather is giving. That's a good leather. That's a good 10. If you're not coming with this, I'm not buying it. Look at that. That's just saying, ah, ah, ah. But that's good <laughs> leather, bro. That's good shit. Great shoe. And the, the, the padding. The padding is like, the ankle collar. oh, bro, come on. Like, you could give a nigga 30 in these. Facts. Comfortably. <laughs> Comfortably. <laughs> Comfortably. Like, not like how them powders came out. That shit was trash. <laughs> but yeah, definitely if you give me if you give me what? I don't wanna like I can't be greedy and say shattered, but I would love to have shattered leather on something like this. Yeah, see. That's reaching. Ah, uh, pine green. <laughs> I'm gonna do pine. Pine will be alright. Uh, this again. Y'all know what these are. <laughs> we meet again. Y'all know what these are. Y'all know <laughs> yeah, look, hey, come on now, little corduroy, corduroy, Boy, Nike yeah, Brandon. Come on now, y'all know what the fuck going on. Big dog, SW97 slash one. These are just fun, bro. Like, come on, <laughs> come on. And I didn't clean my shit. You gonna see that I wore mine. Unlike some people, who still got the DS. I wore my shit. I don't know who you're talking about, but... Wait, who has a DS pair? Perrin. Wait, the Beat King? Perrin, the Beat King, still got a DS pair of Sean's. Mr. Wear Your Shoes? And we're Wear Your Shoes over here. I guess that... Yo, get off my sack. <laughs> you can have it. You can have it back. I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Bro. These are so much fucking fun, bro. Like... Something that's really important to me, like when, when it comes to like sneakers and shit, is the perspective one when I look down. Like when I look down at my shoes, they gotta look fire. Fuck what everybody else is looking at. So this shoe with the yellow going through that top part of the shoe, it just stands out as soon as the sun hits it. And in Florida, we get hella sun. So my shit is always smiling. And I got the smiley face detail on the inside. That you people see, don't see. That people don't see. But I see when I'm putting them on. <laughs> and that's what's important. As you, soon as Do you see them when you look down? But as soon as I'm looking down to put them on, I see them. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me slipping, dog. I'm going with it. I don't know why I put it upside down. I'm not even gonna act like that was on purpose. But yeah. Um, not, just like I was saying before. Shit with colors just fucking goes. Like it just does, yeah. It it doesn't this is brown and gold, first of all. You got the beef and broccoli combination right here. Beef, beef and broccoli. broccoli. What a comparison. What a Followed comparison. by and this is like a indigo. That boy going on his daily soul back in the daily soul. Yo. Morning. 
paired to a indigo inlining corduroy highlighted by turquoise and then this is just like a little coral action like you unlimited fits <laughs> unlimited. unlimited you can wear that outfits. right now actually i can put this on with anything in my closet like any any do-rag and any that's do any beauty, bro. <laughs> any <laughs> weather we coming out in the shans with anything and it's gonna be a drip right. you got the sh the leather the leather the jean the denim on the tap on the little heel tab here and then his little branding it bro like i like things that don't make sense on paper like i remember seeing these shoes rendered on um, on the on the app when everybody was voting and shit. I actually took part in the voting and seeing that purple and green rendered um, 97 that was corduroy turn into this was absolutely amazing. Like absolutely amazing. I was just impressed. It was impressive. All right, quick question. You see the samples of the, the new one? Yeah, with the all blue, blue. and the it all might be different shades of blue. Right, that's right. dope, bro. Like those are like right. the the cash. I like the cash. I mean, I don't think they should sell them if that's where we're going. Uh, I don't with this. If I don't get for retail, I probably nah, no, bro. Just leave it at this. This <laughs> is it right here. Leave it alone. This is it. And that might actually go up if the second one does come out. This is it right here. Like. I don't know. Don't fuck up a good thing. That's all I'm trying to say. Sure. Because the this is timeless. Like the sneakers that I, I like to invest my money and time wearing in is a timeless footwear. I'm gonna wear these in five years, and I'm gonna still have old ladies looking at my shit. Cause that's who really be like they'll look at your shit and be like, oh my god, those are such nice shoes with their lily pullets are on, and they want to get in your sack. You dig what I'm saying? But this shit's is hard. Like just timeless footwear. Good job. Be active. Oh my bad. Bro. All right, so when it comes to the 700, when I looked at the pictures, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then we not gonna sit here and act like niggas was fucking with it from the jump. I was not. I was like, I don't know what's going on, bro. That's literally, that was literally <laughs> my energy. <laughs> After the fucking 350, like, you know, and the, the, the 750, like, inches were hard. They were different, but you could kind of see, like, where he was going. One was sporty, one was a boot. It didn't make sense. Now, my girlfriend was woke, and she hit on the release. She got a size 7. Uh huh. Shout, shout out to Nicolette. Shout out to my girl. Yeah. Nicolette Dominguez. Smart woman. Because she saw that shit from early. Maybe it was Kim K. Maybe it was Kim K. Because that influence is incredible. Like right. what she's doing right now with the with the Yeezy sneakers and the female mm -hmm. consumer. Mm -hmm. It's insane. So seeing these motherfuckers in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh. The vocals. Bro. Mm. Mm. Bro. Like, Halo. Halo loading screen. Bro. And it's just because, like, you cannot be a fanatic of footwear and not like this sneaker. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh-huh. Break it down. Fanatics of footwear like details. Yes or no, Gary? That's yes. True. That's true. You care about the leather. You care about your quality. That yes or no, true. Gary? You yes. care about the way the shoe looks on your foot, don't you, Gary? I or do. how it feels while you're wearing it at the fair. I do. Right? Here's the breakdown. We got a new buck up here, suede-like, right? Atop the mesh, right? But this color mesh doesn't isn't the same color as this. Right? And then you got the black lining here. And it comes up into, you would think this is going to be new buck, right? It's motherfucking leather, bro. This is leather. <laughs> Right? Facts. And then, oh, but you would think that this, maybe, all right, so then they'll just put the new buck on. No, we're putting another mesh. And not in this color or this color. We're going back to gray. Right? What about this detail here? 
Orange 3M, bitch. <laughs> Where have you seen that? Let me, let me hit you. Let me hit you. Where have you seen that? Where have you seen that? Is it coming up? Yeah, see coming up. I don't think that's gonna hit in the light. Bro, and then when you hit the light, there is no Adidas branding, <laughs> is there? Well, I can see the Adidas branding from back here. There's no Adidas branding, <laughs> is there? <laughs> Bitch is hiding. It's hiding under the, the, the fucking curtains. No, after that ant video, I think parents definitely gonna say that's Adidas shit. <laughs> it's hiding under the nah, curtain, that's bro. <laughs> that's a Nike. It's just so much that fun. That so good, it's a Nike. It's so much fun. 3M here, 3M here, 3M here, everywhere that's important, right? Then you just got the great and neutral out, and we gonna throw some fucking banana laces on that bitch and just set it off. None of, nothing about this shoe makes sense. Nothing about this shoe makes sense, and it comes together and it's so fire. And then when you flip it over, it's a fucking Ultra Boost midsole. And it's fucking comfortable as fuck. It really is. And Ultra Boost, if you have it, you know how comfortable it is. It's true. It's true. It's insane. A lot of the sneakers that we love, bro, are not easy to wear sometimes. Like you just kind of, like if you do a, a fucking eight hour shift in some ones, by that seventh hour you're kinda of like Seven. Nah, by that fourth hour, your your pinky toe is done. <laughs> yeah, <Four>. you're cooked, <laughs> bro. Your second hour. <laughs> I could wear these all day, son. And like, like these kind of Nigga, when you put them on. People are like, yo, <laughs> you got <laughs> them, oh you got them because of Kanye. First of all, no fucking duh. <laughs> Yeah, duh, influence. nigga, that's influence, but he is a fashion icon, like, call it what you want, by now he's a fashion icon, and this is an iconic silhouette, not just because of Kanye, but because of what it's bringing to the table as far as footwear, like, yeah, I hate when niggas act like that, that the person who makes the shoe, or inspired the shoe, has no say in why you bought it. That's why, why you that's buy why. anything. That's why he's not going because you saw somebody wear it and you were like, damn, that looks fire. On me, that shit would look just as, like, let me see if I can make it look that fire or it would look that's better on me. Point. That's why you fucking bought the shit. Why you think Adidas is giving him millions of dollars for his campaign to fucking what? Y'all niggas think niggas buy easy because they look good? <laughs> Bro, partially. Partially. <laughs> partially. That's partially. That's but part of that's, it. That's half of it, bro. The other half is bringing In dope point. product. Product. This shows. Like, this is challenging. This is really going to change. Like, this has a lot of layers on it, bro. If yeah. you look at how many layers, like, even this mesh back here is not the same, bro. Is not the same as on the side or the front. You know, just like it's a wider knitting. And then the tongue is a completely different mesh that's than anything else on the shoe. Like, we gotta recognize it. And then the wave concept, like he gave you actual waves throughout your midsole and the bottom. Y'all niggas buying designer shit that's leather all the way through. Y'all cap, bro. If you really like thinking these are overhype, you're asleep. This is just an amazing shoe. The amazing. Socks, the, the Balenciaga sock, sock Damn shit. thing. That's overhype. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Next up. Motherfucking 500. We just gonna stay with the thing. Now, I get it. This shoe might not be for everybody, but I'm talking about my favorite shoes, right? Uh, yeah, that color for me is like the one. Bro, it's all right. This is a daily. It's this is the right. definition a of a daily. Man, super moon more daily. I can't, bro. <laughs> Much more this shoe will never get like super beat, and it's always gonna look the same. One. Two, they're comfortable as a motherfucker. Three, everybody don't like them. Oh, uh, wow. Now that I'm looking at it, that mesh that's on that mid panel is the mesh that's on the back of the way runner. Yeah. Oh. You on to something. You on to something. <laughs> you on to something. Maybe. I it, like maybe it's a 700 because he's using more materials on that than the other. We uncovered The 350 shit. is one big piece of mesh. The 500 is multiple pieces of mesh. 700 has way more different. I don't know. These are just theories. These are <laughs> theories, but I'm not I'm not knocking them. Yo, side note. Sean's not wearing boxers. He's wearing Mitchell and S shorts. It did look like boxers for a second. Side note. <laughs> oh shit. But yo, I, I appreciate this color too, because it's like it's like a smoke gray type thing sometimes it even looks blue it's just i don't know i like different shit i like things that 
I like shoes for me. And I have a wider foot. And like I said, when I look down, it looks dope. I don't know. They're like moon shoes almost. Very fun shoe. As you can tell, like I like bulkier silhouettes. But that's just because I buy shit for me. A lot of y'all buying shit to be seen. Y'all buying shit for other people. Listen, what you buy is not what's going to make you fly. I'm a, That's just facts. Wow. You can't buy some shit and be like, as soon as you put it on, I'm fly. How you wear what you buy is what makes you fly. Niggas buying shit to, to impress other niggas. Facts. That was stupid. These girls, Basically. a lot of them can't tell the difference, my niggas. So you out here looking foolish. You should. And shit that's not your size and shit that just don't fit your body type shit that don't Our fit A girl you. probably think that's a Balenciaga shoe. And you could get away with that shit. High key. But yeah, bro. These are dope. They just I just <coughs> brought them because they're my fucking daily. Like, I wear these a lot. A lot of wears. We were on the easy topic. Super comfortable shoe. How you gonna say all and name two? <laughs> <laughs> the most, floor is yours. Most. Are you going to say all oh, name two? Basically what I'm getting at is the one that's in your hand is overrated. It is, bro. It's so fucking trash. I right? buy shoes for B. Don't believe the <laughs> hype. I bet you I could put on a fit and pure be like, nah. Is that the 2018 I, I pair? I 2018 pair of shadows. I should have kept it you in. Put on any, I still have my 2013 pair. You can put I love any year on, bro. Put any year on, don't care. I love <laughs> gray. They're really nice, though. Gray is fucking look. amazing. And, my, and mine are broken in. So they look really good, like... The stress on the toe box is dope. No real story about these. And these they're just comfy. a sneaker I've always wanted. And they're comfy. Like, this is another timeless piece of footwear. Ant brought five pairs of <laughs> 97. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But I would have I would have added mine, but y'all got enough 97s from this collective series. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of top heavy on 97s, yeah, I, yeah, oh, I did but that just brought like timeless footwear. Like this shoe is wearing in better than when I got it. Like this leather was super flat. Um, so was the, the leather on the swoosh, swoosh as well. But wear your shoes because they're going to start to look better, bro. Sorry, God. Right, that's my testimony to anybody who has shoes. Because if not, they'll be gone before you know it. You try to put them hoes on. Shops close. Shadow ones underrated. This is the best shoe of all time, of all time. I don't care what you like. Yeah, everybody should be born with this pair of shoes. I'm not. Nobody gonna be blown. I said you should be born. Like, and they oh be yeah, born. yeah. <laughs> you should be born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This thing came on my neck. <laughs> oh, I was about to be high. I'm like, he, what's he up, raised bro? the shorts. Yo, listen. I cooked my 2011 pair so bad, like so bad. They turned into rain boots. Like they were hard, bro. Damn. Like I wore them in the snow in New York. Like I wore them and they fucking poured on me. Them shits got baked. Those didn't make it to the video. But I am <laughs> so glad. JB gave me these again because this is the best shoe of all time, bro. Of all time. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And like I said, I don't like shit to make sense. I don't want my footwear to make sense because my jeans going to make sense. My shirt going to make sense because I'm going to be wavy. But I need when, I, when you get down to my calves, to you to be expected some shit that don't make no damn sense. But it go. And that's what the black cement does. Elephant print could have really fucked this shoe up. And I've said this in another video. Like, elephant print is something very difficult to distribute. Not to mention what the three did for footwear. Like, high key. The three really revolutionized the way people looked at footwear, in my opinion. And, I mean, if you do your, his, your, your research, bro, like, Tinker joining with Jordan and creating magic is what makes us make content like this today, bro. It's true. That was deep. That was, that was deep. And that's why, like, <laughs> I get so emotional about threes, but black cements are the best, like, distribution of colors and the balance on the footwear. It's just good. It just works, bro. 
I, I, I'm almost like I can't really talk a lot about it because I get like I can't really organize my words because I'm just like there's so much I want to say about this shoe like just the they've used the midsole on other pairs of shoes I can't really think the easy about one the easy one I just, God, I just one. the just, John C we get what I'm saying today, that we're seeing today and, with the cement and it's like, crazy how like it's supposed to be a swoosh on it too yeah it's crazy that's crazy. The JTH came out God now with bless. the swoosh. No like, <laughs> I love anything that's going to inspire and then obviously expand culture. The three. All and summed up, yeah, basically. Thank you for having me, Gary. It's been fun. Um, follow me at Icon Sean. We got a lot of dope shit going on. I don't know if they've shouted out everything else at Two Cents Talk Show. Um, taco party coming up if this video is out before it October 6th hit up parent.jpg on Instagram for the address um, if you don't hit them up you can't come that's really it yep and um, whew, we got a crazy collection coming for y'all with icon follow us on icon vision um, it's gonna get real scary it's gonna get real scary thank you for having me Gary you're a real one bro. and happy belated bro thank you bro big 24 mama year Yes, sir. Yeah.